I'm George and in this Coral Fish 12 review video you're going to learn why your tank is suffering if you're not using RODI water. Most of the people who have issues and ask questions to me regarding algae blooms, coral turning brown, coral and fish dying and just tough luck at growing anything uh, are making the terrible decision regarding RODI water. They aren't making a mistake, they're making a terrible decision. A mistake would be if you add too much salt mix to your salinity uh, and your selenium skyrockets or if you forget to turn on your aquarium lights for a day. Uh, everybody at one point or another has been told to use RODI water. It's a beginner's concept. Yet so many people make the terrible decision not to. Uh, these are the people who are always uh, asking advice to me for how can I keep a healthier tank. Uh, and I believe me, I used to be one of those people not too long ago who used tap water, um, but I don't anymore and I'll explain to you why. So what is RODI water and what makes it so special? RODI stands for Reverse Osmosis and Deionization. An RODI unit like this one is a multi-stage water filter which takes in ordinary tap water and produces zero TDS water. Now what is TDS? TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. Those are bad elements of the water like phosphates, chlorine, and various metals like copper that could come into the water and usually do because of copper pipe plumbing. Uh, in your house. These are things that should not make their way into your aquarium because they aren't found on natural reefs. These impurities are also food for algae which is why people, you know who you are, using tap water uh, are struggling with green hair algae and cyanobacteria and other things. Using primed chlorinator is also not a solution. Uh, there really is no other solution than buying RODI water uh, from your local fish store or making it yourself with a unit like this one which I'll be talking about in my next video. So to show you exactly how different water compares, I'll be testing the TDS in tap water, my Brita drinking water filter, and RODI water. Remember, we want zero TDS, and nothing but zero TDS water should be going into your tank. I'm going to be using this handheld TDS meter, which you can buy online for 10 to 20 bucks, and it's worth getting to see how much TDS is in your tap water, uh, which usually opens people's eyes to switching to RODI water uh, side for good. But I'll just test my sink water first uh, to use as the control, uh, and then I'll test the others. So, all right, this is water for my sink. Okay. One forty-two uh, ppm. So. Here, I'll bring the reading up. It's 142. Uh, to be honest, compared to old houses, some other old houses are like around 200 or it could be like 250. Um, it could be worse. 140 isn't terrible for my uh, normal tap water, um, but it's far from anything you'd want putting in your tank. All right, let's try my Brita filter water now from my refrigerator. Okay, so I got 75 ppm. Uh, so it, it basically cut that in half. Um, that's much better. And what I'm getting out of that Brita, Brita filter water is like what you'd get from like a water bottle. Um, and like what, like purified water, like in a water bottle, um, it would be like around 75 um, ppm. And that's like just like the RO, but it's not the DI. The DI, um, is what completely makes it zero and uh, what like your aquarium just definitely needs. So 75 is a lot better, but it's it's still not good enough. All right, so finally my RODI water. All right, so this is my RODI water that I made yesterday. Okay, uh, surprisingly, it's at 1 ppm. So like I said, it should be 0. Uh, two days ago, when I made this water, it was reading 0. Uh, 
I'm just gonna warn you guys, this is a big reason why sometimes, um, like when I first bought my TDS meter, I came home uh, and I checked my RODI water that I've been buying from my local fish store for, you know, I've been buying that water for years, and so I wanted to see like what it's gonna read, whether they're actually giving me good water. Um, and it read like 50 ppm, and I was like, is my local fish store ripping me off? Like, is this a joke? Um, I ended up kind of like researching into that idea and it's the water jugs like my water jugs are just just dirty so I always recommend like if you're going like clean your water jugs out it's super important uh, to making sure that it, it stay your water RDI water stays at zero um, so I don't know like what happened in a day maybe it's because I've been like moving the jug around which I have um, that's just been splashing in there like maybe it splashed at the top or something where like I put my finger in but yeah, it, so it, it happens um, where you'll get like one, but like I said, it's ideal to get zero, and it's coming out zero. If you're, you're using like a dechlorinator, that's going to be as good, and it brings it down from like 140 to like 70 or 80. Um, so like I said, like the dechlorinator helps, but it's like still not good enough. And like people who think that using that's going to just make it RDI water, it's not. I know you're probably sick uh, by now of hearing why zero TDS water is important but these are my closing remarks. There are reasons why RODI water is not used, usually because people are lazy or they just don't want to spend the money. And I get it because I was one of those people, um, but since I've been using zero TDS water uh, for a couple of years now, my tank has been the cleanest it's ever been. And believe me, I've always had nice looking tanks, but I used to be always scrubbing algae away without end behind the scenes. Uh, so I'm now recommending that you start making a good decision for your reef aquarium by always using RODI water. Thanks for watching guys and in my next video I'm going to be explaining why it's worth it to fork up the couple hundred bucks and buy an RODI system like this. George, out. Click that subscribe button. I have lots of great future videos coming out. Uh, and also like my, fa my page on Facebook. Uh, I've been posting a lot lately and it might be nice for you just to keep up with my life and uh, see what's going on with my tank and the hobby. Also like the video below. Thanks.